Hey guys, today I will read an article from Healthline, especially about sleep. What is the purpose of sleep? Sleep is essential for good health. In fact, we need sleep to survive, just like we need food and water. So, it's no wonder we spend about one-third of our lives sleeping. Many biological processes happen during sleep. The brain stores new information and gets rid of toxic waste. Nerve cells communicate and reorganize, which supports healthy brain function. The body repairs cells, restores energy, and releases molecules like hormones and proteins. These processes are critical for our overall health. Without them, our bodies can't function correctly. Let's take a closer look at why we sleep, along with what happens if we don't get enough. Why do we sleep? A lot is still unknown about the purpose of sleep. However, it's widely accepted that there isn't just one explanation for why we need to sleep. It's likely necessary for many biological reasons. To date, scientists have found that sleep helps the body in several ways. The most prominent theories and reasons are outlined below. Energy Conservation According to the energy conservation theory, we need sleep to conserve energy. Sleeping allows us to reduce our caloric needs by spending part of our time functioning at a lower metabolism. This concept is backed by the way our metabolic rate drops during sleep. Research suggests that eight hours of sleep for human beings can produce a daily energy savings of 35% over complete wakefulness. The energy conservation theory of sleep suggests that a main purpose of sleep is to reduce a person's energy used during times of the day and night when it's convenient and less efficient to hunt for food. Secular restoration. Another theory called the, the restorative theory says the body needs to sleep to restore itself. The idea is that sleep allows cells to repair and regrow. This is supported by many important processes that happen during sleep, including muscle repair, protein synthesis, tissue growth, hormone release. Brain function. The brain plasticity theory says sleep is required for brain function. Specifically, it allows your neurons or nerve cells to reorganize. When you sleep, your brain's glymphatic waste clearance system clears out waste from the central nervous system. It removes toxic byproducts from your brain, which build up throughout the day. This allows your brain to work well when you wake up. Research suggests that sleep contributes to memory function by converting short-term memories into long-term memories, as well as by erasing or forgetting unneeded information that might otherwise clutter the nervous system. Sleep affects many aspects of the brain function, including learning, memory, problem-solving skills, creativity, decision-making, focus, concentration, emotional well-being. Similarly, sleep is necessary for emotional health. During sleep, brain activity increases in areas that regulate emotion, thereby supporting healthy brain function and emotional stability. Areas of the brain in which sleep increases activity include amygdala, Stratium, hippocampus, insula, medical prefrontal cortex. One example of how sleep can help regulate emotion occurs in amygdala. This part of the brain, located in the temporal lobe, is in charge of the fear response. It's what controls your reaction when you face a perceived threat, like a stressful situation. When you get enough sleep, the amygdala can respond in a more active, adaptive way. But if you're sleep deprived, this is more likely to overreact, 
Research shows that sleep and mental health are intertwined. On the other hand, sleep disturbances can contribute to the onset and progression of mental of mental health issue. But on the other hand, mental health issue can also contribute to sleep disturbances. Weight maintenance. Sleep affects your weight by controlling hunger hormones. These hormones include ghrelin, which increases appetite, and leptin, which increases the feeling of being full after eating. During sleep, ghrelin decreases because you're using less energy than you when than when you wake up and you're awake. Lack of sleep, however, elevates ghrelin and suppresses leptin. This imbalance makes you hungrier, which may increase the risk of eating more calories and gaining weight. Recent research shows that chronic sleep deprivation, even as a few as five consecutive nights of short sleep, may be associated with increased risk of obesity, metabolic syndrome, type two diabetes, proper insulin function. Insulin is a hormone that helps your cells use glucose or sugar for energy, but in insulin resistance, your cells don't respond properly to insulin. This can lead to high blood glucose level and eventually type 2 diabetes. Sleep may protect against insulin resistance. It keeps your cells healthy so they can easily take up glucose. The brain also uses less glucose during sleep. Which helps the body regulate overall blood glucose. Immunity, a healthy and strong immune system, depends on sleep. Research shows that sleep deprivation can inhibit the immune response and make the body susceptible to germs. When you sleep, your body makes cytokines, which are proteins that fight infection and inflammation. It also produces certain antibodies and immune system. Together, these molecules prevent sickness by destroying harmful germs. That's why sleep is so important when you're sick or stressed. During these times, the body needs even more immune cells and proteins. So that's why we need to sleep and the purpose of sleep. I'll see you in the next magazine on Healthline. Bye.